Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later over there for some Naya Huatli. We've had a lot of fun playing this deck and you know we're gonna keep on doing it. So basically what this deck is is it's basically Selesnya tokens that is uh, geared to having all the Huatlis in the deck. We've had uh, or this was a donation deck originally that the, the stipulation with the donation deck was to make a deck with both both Huatlis in it. And this is what we came up with, and it's been working just really well, honestly. And so, is it as good as regular Selesnya tokens? Maybe not. Not at times. Like, our curve's kind of high with all these, with the three Huatli, uh, four, four mana planeswalkers, and five five drops. The curve's kind of high, and that can, can be trouble. But whenever we hit our land drops and kind of curve out, it is really nice. The only change that we're making from previously is we used to have one Ajani in the deck, and I'm taking out the Ajani for a third Tristani, because Tristani is just such a powerful card and an important card to have access to. It makes a lot of your other cards better. And so we got the third Tristani in here. Also, we have the new um, 3D cards today. This deck, I only have a couple. I only have, from what we got from the Selesnya guild pack, we have Tristani and Amara are our two here and then also with the mana base we have a temple garden so those are our three 3d cards here and yeah, no hero heroic reinforcements we're um a pretty i don't know we're we're kind of relying on our our planeswalkers here the reason why we got spellbreakers because it fits the curve nicely at the three mana slot it does a lot for us it plays good defense being a four four and it also tramples which is really nice with huatli's minus one ability of making one creature very big so we want to go wide, use Watley's minus one ability to make a creature really big. We want it to be like this Trampler, or maybe a Life Linker that we get from a March, an Amara, or a Legion's Landing, anything like that. So that's what we got. Naya Huatli. We have a new Huatli emblem. That's a brand new thing. Today, Huatli has an emblem. Or is it em not emblem, but avatar? That's the word I'm looking for. Avatar. So we're using our Huali avatar here. <laughs> yeah, Loss. Yeah, you just beat us up with, with Flourish. With like, yeah, with Bant Hero there. That game one, I, ha I did have Ritual of Soot in my hand. If you didn't have that Flourish. Hmm. I was planning on, you know, you had like the two, the the two t tokens from, you know, uh, deposed from deploy, I guess, and the Knight of Autumn, and I was gonna be ritual sitting, but then you flourished, and I was like, no, and I died. This is definitely a keep. Ooh, love it. It not only looks nice, but it fills the curve as well. Yeah, and I, well, I was busy, like, lava coiling the, you know, your 3-2 that didn't get Ritual of Sitted away. So I had to kill that thing. We have some good synergy here with our deck. We got our Selesnya sleeves. And we have our Huatli emblem. So Garuk is stuck somewhere in Zendikar. I wonder what he's doing to pass the time. Turns out we had another Amara if we would have shipped that Amara to the bottom. Mm 
Do we think they have a counter spell? Probably not. You should surrender now. Your fate is already sealed. Mm -hmm. Don't kill my Huatli. No, don't do it. So Huatli needs eight loyalty to uh, ultimate. That's the the other Huali sings the Song of Fame. Oh, what a draw. What a draw. Oh, no, no, no! No, auto-tap, why do you kill me? No! That's alright. We'll just... I guess we'll go get our other Amara back. I was planning on getting the Freebooter to get history back. That was the plan. Was I was gonna My play the new Amara, tap the new Amara and everything, and, and Conclave Tribunal the, the Freebooter so we get history, because we don't really need the other Amara. But now we'll just do that. We have three Conclave Tribunals in the main and one in the board. Stop. <laughs> this song is about the hostage taker. I want to break free. And we're like, no, we have a tribunal. What is a poem without pain? Let your defeat be a lesson to those who come after. Instant speed draw three cards. And Radiant Champion is nice. It's two, but we get another one because of Amara tapping. Ooh, other Huatli. Sing the song of fame. So I could just cast Flourish. I've got to break free. Or I can just like kind of set up this turn with like Shauna, History. I guess that card will do. From the will of many, the might of one. Ten ten trampler. That's pretty good.
Let's see. Let's get other tribunal. Do I want baffling ends? Not really. Crushing canopy? Meh. Basically just one other tribunal. What don't I want? I don't know. Kind of like all of our cards. I don't see anything that we necessarily don't want. Trisani, of course, is amazing against the Thief of Sandy deck. Could take out, like, a Spellbreaker. Now, yeah, that's that's some kind of... This is some kind of... Yeah, that's something that's happened ever since the update. Like, right in this area, there's just a black screen all the time. Now, Shauna's good, because they can't use their abilities to kill Shauna, and they have a lot of abilities, like Hostage Taker and stuff like that. And they have to jump it all the time. Could take out a Spellbreaker. Yeah, I should side out the black box. It's not good for the matchup. Hey, Nitty. Good morning. We're going strong here on our 12 hour stream. We are four hours down right now. Hmm. I kind of want to say flower for after I play hero. That could certainly be too greedy. I really like these sleeves. These sleeves are awesome. You know, it's just fashionable neckwear. I'm a fan of fashionable neckwear. Good night over there. Well, hope you're having a wonderful night. If y'all didn't notice, so I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow. So basically this this weekend, during I don't want to be streaming during the Mythic Invitational. So I'm going to be doing 7 to 10 Friday through Sunday. And I could do 7 to so basically PM. And I, and I may go a little later than 10. We'll kind of see. I'm basically planning on like two decks a day. But So we'll be having short streams this weekend. And... I could do it tomorrow, but tomorrow is also opening day for baseball. And so I want to just kind of sit back and just watch baseball all day instead of just the, the short stream. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. Well, they can't have more Thought Erasures, right? They're probably out of those, right? Let's get this isn't a fight you can win. We haven't drawn this a spell yet this game, have we? Defeat. No, we haven't. We had those four that we had those in our hands. Hurry! The Texas Rangers are my team. Did not draw a spell. Makes sense though, we have tons and tons of lands. You know, we have lots of lands in this deck. Uh, 22 of them, to be exact. So they have like Mortify, I guess, which makes Tribunal worse. Maybe I just don't even want Tribunal. Hmm. Teferi can talk Tribunal. 
What would I play instead of Tribunals? Would I play, like, Crowl Harpooner? I mean, obviously, we'd just get the Spellbreaker back in for Tribunal. It's just, what, what else would we really want? I don't know. Just going back to the re the regular 60. Nothing on our sideboard seems like anything I, I really want here. Tower defense is in the deck to save our creatures from finality. Hmm. Double tribunal. We're hoping the opponent doesn't have triple thought erasure again or any thought erasures for that matter all right no thought erasures we're off to the races can we draw spells now this has been two games in a row where we've drawn nothing but lands. We've drawn land to land again. I think that's seven or eight straight draw steps that are lands. Can we just not do that, please? Coming up on 10 draw steps without a land. We're getting there. Or, sorry, with only lands. Probably number 10 right there. Ugh. We're a 22 land deck. Come on. Go to the feast on their flesh. So Warrior Poet, we're going to need you to do a whole lot of work for us. Oh, you'll regret that. This is unreal. Come, sing the song of fame. This is unreal. In a 22 land deck, we haven't drawn a single spell in game 2 or 3. It's not like our opponent was killing us very fast. They're casting Thought Erasure every single turn. It's unreal. Sometimes even destiny is wrong. Flower is the only the only non-land spell that we've drawn is Flower, which just searches for a land. And it got taken. Hmm. Another land. You would think we're playing like a 40 land deck. Unbelievable. Like, what are, the, what are the chances of drawing so many lands two games in a row when you're only playing 22? Ugh. All right, can't happen in another match in a row, right? So it's a four lander, but definitely like the hero into history curve. And these temple gardens kept on making it look like I was like, ooh, drawing a, a spell. What's the spell? Oh, it's a temple garden. Yeah. 
Yeah. This is a good song. Hang me out to dry. We do need to hang up to dry with that flood. That's a good call. Too much flood. Dang, they had the spell pierce to go along with their one drop curious obsession. Not looking so good for the home team here. Once, here, once history resolved, we knew our opponent was just on Trickster. <laughs> so you're telling me it was pretty low then, Hero, huh? I really do not want Tristani to get countered. Two, three, four, five. Thankfully, our, our opponent got stuck on lands here. It was looking bad for us on turn two, but they got stuck on lands, and now it's obviously looking great for us. I'd expect them to play like a Tempest Gen or something here. They did not. So both of my threats are lethal ish. Lethal ish. They're both great. Do you think they're going to have another trickster here? So I'm going with the Huali Warrior Poet post combat after they trickster. Killing the Herald and their. I guess I could just kill two, the two tricksters. Listen, you think they cheer for you? Witness my glory! Witness my fame! Okay. Turns out spending lots of mana is better than spending two mana each turn. So, sideboard, we get all these baffling ends the tribunal, the harpooners, the crushing canopies, not cindervine, probably one tower defense. Also, we are taking out the expensive planeswalkers and march of the multitudes and. Legion's Landing. I guess I could take out a land. That's reasonable. 
What's this Hero Precinct one doing anymore? It's kind of nothing. one march your mono blue makes you kind of change your deck up and not play all the cool cards you want to play all the time Okay, getting Grixis discard up on YouTube. Filling out some of the things. Spell piercing my stuff. The biggest problem with spell pierce there was that they would still be able to trickster. Thankfully, they didn't have a trickster. That's all done. Back to the chat. Yeah, we don't really necessarily need tower defense. It it can help us win races and kind of come out of nowhere. It's kind of cool. It does things. But I agree, it may not be wonderful. Just kind of dying over here. <clears throat> no counter spell. What is going on? What's going on is Naya Huali is picking up the win. And we are 1 1. Yeah, Amara is really good. Uh, definitely one of our best cards. Makes all of our Convoke spells so much better. It makes Huali a lot better. The Radiant Champion Huali, that is. Yeah, I don't know if our opponent only just had like more lands in their hand or something. I don't know. This temple guard in here makes it look like we have less lands than what we actually have. Ow. So I don't really want to shock. The problem is we have all shock lands. So that's a problem. Hmm. 
All right, we never drew a non-shock land, so gonna have to shock here. Of course, really hoping for not another chain whirler. I'm gonna be jumping that chain whirler with the one one here. All right, that's not bad. I can handle that thing. I'm trying to handle that thing. Okay, it's a good sign for us. I don't think our opponent has an instant speed spell there. Of course, we have like just another Conclave Tribunal, so it's just not a big deal that we're using one right now on a 1 2. Alright, no chain whirlers. That's good. Um. I mean, so Huali kills both their things, or Tristani makes all my stuff huge. And either way, it's like game winning. I guess we'll just play Tristani. This is a Huali deck. I should play Huali. I think Tristani's probably a better play. But I should, you know, I think either one, our opponent's dead. I should just play Huali. Yeah, against decks with lots of sweepers, you don't need to you, know, you don't need to overextend into them. And against those kind of decks, you'll kind of also rely on your planeswalkers against black sweepers. All right, so mono red. I want baffling end and tribunal and tower defense isn't honestly the worst here. It's basically two mana. It's like two mana dive down. On one of our creatures, but it also saves all of our creatures from a chain whirler. It can honestly be not so bad for us. Fortunately, this is not the matchup for Radiant Champion. That card's gonna be out. And March. And Legion's Landing. Yeah, I honestly don't hate tower defense. Let's play one. <laughs> hey, Chain Dweller. Five mana Huatli has the tick up that gains life equal to your... Uh, largest creature's power, not toughness. So, tower defense doesn't help you out there. This is three five drops and a march, which costs a lot of mana. With just two shock lands, I'm not keeping that. Even though Spellbreaker is one of our best cards in this matchup, being a 4-4. Four four. It's unfortunate that we have to mulligan again. Don't want to keep that either. These hands just all are horrible. We need a new mulligan roll. <laughs> Blame it on that.
So if I lead with Hero of Precinct 1, it will get Burn Spelled. Oh well. I think that's still better. I think that's better than just not shocking and not playing anything this turn. The problem with playing Shauna is our opponent likely has Chain Whirler here, and Chain Whirler would just kill the Shauna. Well, they didn't play Chain Roller there. And they just used a Shock instead. So we'll see what they got. Alright, that's fine. I'll take that. I'll take that all day. That's what... Uh, yeah, we don't have Collision Colossus for the Minus Trample. We have the Spellbreaker has trample. The spellbreaker uh, is pretty nice there. Yeah, no no frenzy so far, which is good. And yeah, they just keep using removal spells one for one on our stuff. That's going to be good for us as long as they don't have frenzy to just overpower us. March here, make two life linkers. Because if oh, I guess I'm two lands away from Tristani. Wow, our opponent has been flooding out. Both light up the stages. We're just double land. So far, just the stream today, different games, we've seen four total light up the stages that have hit land, that have hit double, double mountain. So Spellbreaker attacks for lethal here. I do like Spellbreaker being a 4-4 though also. I don't think there's like a reason why we need to try to hit them for lethal. You know, we have like these. We're just not really in any rush, I don't think. Yeah, there's been f four different light up the stages that opponents have cast, and the light up the stages hit Mountain Mountain today. There's been other light up the stages that have done other things. I'm just saying that there's been four of those today. Been a lot of light up the stages today, is what I'm saying. What? What is this? What is this? Does anybody know what that's about? I don't... I guess I don't mind a lunch break. I am... Pretty hungry. I was actually thinking about that. Thinking about... Yeah, so what what is the maintenance? Yeah, quasi duplicate ooze. Did anybody like click on the go look for more information? Anybody have any information about like how long this maintenance will last? How's Quasi Dupla Ooze against Teamer Reclamation? Not so bad. Ugh. It has like the sideboard is very good in that matchup where you have a bunch of crushing canopies, frilled mystics, negates. Three of each of those. Wow. 
very efficient for the opponent on turn two to get rid of five mana worth of my stuff, a hero, precinct one, and history, Benali. That is clutch, shock, and spell pierce there. Yes, it is in 30 minutes, but what does it say? How do, like how much time will it last is, is the question. I don't like our opponent. Uh, you can find the Quasi Duplet Ooze list on my Stream Decker page somewhere there. Uh, you can also always go on over to the YouTube channel. Easy place to find stuff there, youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. And you can find the videos there with the link to the deck list and everything. Wow. Oh, it's had everything. This one Terramander and then perfect <laughs> answers to everything we're playing. Ugh. So we need to draw Conclave Tribunal. Get this Terramander out of here. What do we want to do here? Their strength Except is no match. your strength. So I'm playing, I'm playing Huatli as a gain six. Every problem. Just want to peek. The weight is killing me. The day is yours. Lucky shot. I think we're dead now. Oh, come on. I just want to peek. The weight is killing me. So I assume they have like another blocker, and they just have so many cards now. Ral should be getting them exactly what they want. I haven't, I haven't seen anybody say how long it'll be down yet. They play a whole lot of shocks, and shocks are really good against me. So bringing in a lot of cards. This could certainly be too many cards. Cinder Vines is a card I have zero interest in playing. Tower Defense, maybe.
I'd rather play any any other card in my deck over Cinder Vines. Literally any other card. Hmm. I'm not sure if we're gonna like really have time to like sit sit around and flip and have like legions landing flipped and things like that. So I'm gonna take out the legions landings. They'll probably just be one ones. Uh, even if we get to attack with three creatures and flip it, you know, like are we really gonna be activating it in this matchup? I don't know if that really matters. Yeah, correct. We had the scheduled maintenance this morning. Don't know about when. Yeah, Cannonade... Cannonade's the reason to be playing tower defense. Definitely need to be worried about Cannonade. Maybe I should be playing tower defense too. Yes, the quasi duplicate token has the same CMC as the original creature, yes. Good, no shock. It's good news for us. They have coil for hero precinct one, and that's less coils for spell breakers. <laughs> yeah, that's a generous gray. Nine baller with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much, Nine Baller. And Hawkeye says thank you as well. All right, Hawkeye. Our sub battle countdown is now officially at. 100. Keep this thing going down. I don't think we really need to tribunal anything yet. So I'm going to go to this site, whatever that site is. Dispelling Nazi with Quip. Thank you so much. Dude, you are going to love your toothbrush. It is so nice. And with that, move up our referral goal for another 12-hour stream up to 23. So with it with the Twitch or sorry with the equip order you also receive a free donation deck. So spelling Nazi if you'd ever like a donation deck, there's no expiration date to it. But anytime you would like a donation deck, you'd like me to play a deck on stream, just let me know. No info on that site? Oh, okay. Then, um, so right here, I did not play Tristani because our opponent having, like, like it seems like they are very cognizant of having this two mana up, and I'm thinking it's for Disdainful Stroke. And so that's why I didn't just play Tristani last turn, even though it looked like it was very easy just to slam Tristani. But I think our opponent has Disdainful Stroke. 
that they want me to play into. It could certainly be Negate as well. Huh, so there's no information on that site that they're like, go to the site for information. And you're like, but there's no information on that site. That's weird. Just chumped the spellbreaker there. The CMC, when it's on the stack, it does count the X, yes. And so this would get countered by Disdainful Stroke. Surprised they thought they were dead from just what we have, but they were going to be dead. They just, they shouldn't have known it, but we're going to march, get three tokens, slam Tristani. Uh, Tristani would make an, an extra creature because of the hero, and so we'd have four creatures to tap for Tribunal to take their 5-5 five five and attack them for lethal. So we did have lethal there. Yeah, we'll see with this downtime thing if this just shuts off our match here. Or what go what's going to go on here. Alright, what do we got? I think we keep five lander. And I really do like Baffling End. But I don't love March. So this is basically five lander. We just put the fifth land on the bottom of the library. Okay, maintenance is expected to last 90 minutes. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this is a, a patch for people having issues with the store. Gotcha. Uh, NASCAR father, absolutely no idea. I have no, no clue what you're referencing. Dang. Yeah, I know, Nitty. So I guess I'm going to have a little bit of a lunch break here. Start playing these things. I think it's... You know, if I play Amara, Amara dies immediately. So we'll just get the histories out here. That Even if, even though we're playing, like, into Spell Pierce. I'd rather be able to have Amara and, like, March of the Multitudes kind of together later on. Do I know a mis Mr. Magoo? Doesn't ring a bell, but to be fair, I know I kind of know faces better than names for just all the people I've met in my life and being a being a teacher for so many years. Names are kind of hard to remember. But, you know, something like Magoo, you'd think that would stand out, but I don't know. Uh, 
Oh, that was a troll? Oh, well. I hmm. That shows how little I recognize that. I've already used two shocks. Well, so I don't really mind throwing Amara in front of another shock. That was the certainly the card I worried about. So this card we talked about before. Fiery Kennedy. That could good against me. I taught geometry. This is all gone horribly. Opponent's still sitting with five cards over there. They had a very removal heavy hand. Double coil, cannonade, double shock. I was expecting that disdainful stroke. Just like last game, how they they'd been holding that up again. Uh, we didn't didn't untap with the Tristani. That would have been perfect time for a Tristani. History, good draw though. Good draw. Can't complain too much. That's a good draw. Which just wasn't what wasn't like our our best draw or anything, but it was a good draw. All right, and we are dead. We needed one of our four conclave tribunals, not one of our three baffling ends. There. Niv Mizzet, really good. Really good. Our opponent's hand was just good, though. Like, the fiery cannon aid wrecked me. Okay. So we are... We finished up... Naya Huatli, two and two. Wasn't the best league. But I think our, our deck felt better than necessarily two and two. You know, like that's a really small sample. Of course, our first loss was just completely ridiculous. Where if, if you missed it, we played two games. Uh, we won game one against Esper midrange, and then game two and game three, throughout like two longer games, we drew only lands, except for the end of game three, we drew one flower, which is, you know, basically like getting a land. Um, and we're a 22 land deck, so it was just really crazy. So like, that one you can kind of throw out there. And, you know, Drake's got us game one there, and then 
you know, had a, enough removal for us. Game three. It's certainly possible I should be bringing in more tower defenses in that matchup. You know, I just kind of need to play with the deck more. But I could certainly see, like, any deck that has, like, Fiery Cannonade, Gates of Blaze, anything like that. Just, you know, Finality, of course. That I should just be bringing in all the tower defenses. Uh, could certainly see that. Because even, even, even against Lava Coils, uh, they're killing my Spellbreaker and stuff like that. It's still two mana dive down. And so I could certainly see bringing in all the, the, tower, defen the tower defenses. Unbreakable Formation is much, much worse because it does not save our creatures from Finality. Finality is a is a very big problem for, for my deck that only Tower Defense saves our creatures from that. So that's why we have it. All right, so I don't know how much longer this will last before this gets shut off here. So for the YouTube video recording, at least, we're going to go ahead and stop it there. So thanks for watching Naya Huatli if you're watching this on YouTube. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But I will see you for the next video.